Amen. Amen. This evening. Real time gospel. We don't care what the devil don't like. Amen. You can praise him.
what the devil don't like this evening. Amen. We're going to bless the Lord at all times. His praises shall continue to be in our mouth. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. And let us exalt his name together. Amen. We love the Lord this evening. And we thank God for those who are tuning in. Amen. First of all, by way of social media. Amen. The real time uh, gospel. Amen. With Pastor Henderson. Amen. And we just grateful for you all tuning in. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And we on YouTube. If you would subscribe. Amen. Amen. We would greatly appreciate it. Praise God. We are trying to spread the good news of Jesus Christ, the word of God. Amen. In time like this. Amen. Praise God. Amen. We need the word of God in time like these. Amen. Praise God. Amen. I believe I was looking in the book of Amos uh, 8 and 11. It said, Behold, the day is come, saith the Lord God, that I will send a family in the land, and not a family of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Not uh, for bread or water, but for the word of God. We have to be thirsty and hungry. For the word of God. The Bible says in, his, in Matthew, I believe, Blessed are they that hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Amen. Bless you. Bless you. Praise God. Amen. So, amen. Praise God. We need the word of God because Jesus said himself, Man should not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise God. So we're going to get into uh, the lesson tonight. Amen. Talking about, amen, the four horsemen coming out of the book of Revelation. Amen. Praise God. I'll allow you to get your Bibles. We'll be coming out of the book of Revelation, the sixth chapter. Amen. Praise God. As we have our song, Real Time Gospel. Real Time. Amen. The Real Time Gospel Show with Pastor Henderson. Amen. Thank God for those who are tuning in. Amen. We appreciate your support. Amen. Thank you for tuning in for the Real Time Gospel. Amen. If you have the Bible, amen. Too many people don't go to the book of Revelations. Amen. Some fear uh, or dare to read it. Some say it's complicated to read. Amen. Uh, just as you read in the Old Testament, uh, Daniel and Isaiah and uh, even Ezekiel and uh, uh, Zechariah. Uh, most of them deal with symbolic uh, meaning, have some symbolic meanings. And uh, revelation is the same. Revelation is just the revelation of Jesus Christ. And uh, if you look in uh, Revelation 1 and uh, 3, uh, the first chapter, the third verse says, Blessed is he that readeth. Blessed is he that readeth and they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. And so he said, uh, blessed is he that readeth. 
Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So those, we, we're blessed if we read it. Amen. The, the, the book of Revelation, because that's what it is, a revelation. Amen. Of Jesus Christ and what's going on in today's society. Amen. As we see, amen, the prophetic message of this book is communicated through dramatic, uh, 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 it, it talks about the images, uh, the apocalypse uh, images and symbolisms uh, depicting the, uh, the consummation of the whole biblical message of redemption. It said his features of uh, Christ's role as the worthy lamb who was slain. Amen. He was slain. Amen. When we look in chapter 5, we'll read that as well. And the uh, wrathful uh, lamb who is coming to judge the world and purge it of evil. And that'll be uh, chapter 6 through uh, chapter 6 through chapter 19. You see, the other major symbolic images in the book are the dragon. It, it, the dragon talks about Satan. Uh, the sea uh, beast, that is, it talks about uh, the Antichrist. And the earth beast, it talks about the false prophet. And Babylon the Great, uh, the center of satanic uh, deception and world power. So when we get into the book of Revelation, the sixth chapter, the sixth chapter, amen, in the uh, first verse, I'm going to read first verse through the second verse, and then we're going to get into the lesson. And it said, I saw when the lamb opened one of the seals, and I heard as it were the noise of thunder, one of the four beasts saying, come and see. And I saw, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat on him had a bow, and a crown was given unto him. And he went forth conquering and to conquer. And so uh, we dealing with the white horse on tonight. We're dealing with the white horse on tonight. And so, uh, like I said, I will get into the lesson uh, because they run reference to Revelations 5 and uh, 5. Revelations 5 and 5. It said, One of the elders said unto me, Weep not, weep not. Behold, the lamb of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, hath prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. The only one that was able to do that was Jesus Christ. Amen. Jesus is pictured as the lamb, indicating he will rule all the earth. Amen. We hear we had always have the, 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 the heard the saying that the lamb is the king of the jungle. But Christ is pictured as the lamb, indicating he will rule the earth. He is from the tribe of Judah. Amen. And the family of David. These titles of Jesus as the conquering Messiah. Uh, when we look at Genesis uh, 49, 9 through 10, says an eternal king accord with the promises made to David. Uh, Isaiah 11, if you read Isaiah 11, 1 uh, through uh, 10. And it says also, uh, the sixth verse and I beheld, and lo, in the midst of the throne and of the four beasts, and in the midst of the elders stood a lamb as it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent forth into all the earth. And so we know Christ, uh, Christ appearing as a lamb, that bears the marks of having been slain. We know he was crucified. Worthy is the Lamb of God. He was crucified, uh, represent his giving of himself on the cross for the sins of the human race. Amen. Jesus did that. Jesus did that. Amen. It signifies that 
Christ's worthiness, power, authority, and victory come from his sacrificial death on the cross. So the lamb in Revelations foremost symbol for Christ. Amen. So when we look at it, Christ's judgment is on those who reject his sacrifice as the lamb of God. Many folks are rejecting uh, the sacrifice. Amen. Amen. Praise God. They reject the salvation. The scripture said, amen. The, uh, I believe uh, uh, Psalm 7 and 11, it said, God judges the righteous and God is angry with the wicked. God is angry with the wicked every day. It didn't say some days. He said he's angry with the wicked every day. Amen. Praise God. So when we get into the lesson, talking about the white horse, uh, Revelation addresses a situation in which pagan uh, 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 political powers power have formed a partnership with false religion. Those who claim to follow Christ, those who claim to follow Christ are facing mounting pressure to conform to this ungodly partnership at the expense of loyalty to Christ. Now, uh, the Bible says, be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. And we see the scripture tell us also there, uh, there's a falling away. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Because I know when I got saved and what I've been taught, amen, praise God, that you didn't do certain things. You live holy, be ye holy. You live holy. You live righteous. Amen. Because they told me we don't know the day nor the hour when the Lord is going to return. Amen. And the Bible also told us, amen, that's a whole lot of false teachers and false preachers. Amen. I keep saying this all the time, false prophets and false teachers. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Praise God. And the scripture tells us, don't be carried about with every wind and doctrine. That's why I always tell people to study the word of God for yourself. The Bible says, search the scripture. Search the scripture. Amen. Do research for yourself and pray to God and ask God to give you an understanding of his word. God will not have us to be ignorant concerning the word of God. Amen. Praise God. The overall purpose of revelation, listen, is to comfort those who are facing persecution. Amen. I know it seems like the devil is winning right now. Praise God. But the Bible tells us, amen, clearly. He said, yea, all that will live godly in Christ Jesus will, will suffer persecution. You're going to suffer persecution, amen. But revelation, amen, if we can just stay uh, faithful to God, if we stay faithful to his word, amen, it comfort those that are facing persecution, and to warn those who are compromising with the world system. Oh, bless the Lord. People are compromising. Amen. Praise God. They taking down. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Make you question your salvation. Amen. Praise God. But because they told me if everything is right to do, what's wrong? Amen. The scripture tell us, love not the world, neither thing in the world. But if any man love the world, the love the Father is not in him. We have to have a love for God. We have to have a love for God. We have to have a love for the word of God. Amen. Praise God. The Bible says, blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. We cannot compromise. We cannot take down. We have to preach and we have to teach the uncompromisable gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Because the scripture tell us, amen. Praise God. I'm afraid to do anything that's not, uh, uh, that, that's not right. Amen. That not holy. Praise the name of the Lord. Because the scripture tells us, I believe in the book of Proverbs, it says, behold, 
The eyes of the Lord are in every place. Oh, y'all ain't saying that. Here. The eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. Amen. Cannot compromise, cannot take down. Amen. I stand on God's word. Word. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Either, it's either heaven or hell. Amen. Praise God. There's no in between. Amen. Amen. Praise God. God don't need no straddle offense. Christians, either you save or you not save. Amen. And I will encourage those tonight, those who are saved, stay on the Lord's side. Those who are not saved, get on the Lord's side. Repent of your sins and God will forgive you. Amen. Pray God. Don't compromise. Hey, don't compromise. Don't compromise the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. Because the Bible tells you, praise God, for the time will come. Amen. And we're living in old times right now. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. What you talking about, preacher? Some folks don't want to hear the truth. They man don't want to hear you. You leave that alone. You picking on me. No, the the, the, down, the time will come. Like the Bible says, they would not endure sound doctrine, but they would heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. Amen. They they they'd rather believe a, a lie than the truth. Amen. Folks don't want you to tell them the truth, but Jesus said, "Ye shall know the truth, and the truth will make you free." It said, "During times of opposition." Oh, that's so much opposition. Oh, bless the Lord. Oh, so much opposition today. Amen. The righteous suffer. The righteous suffer. Whether you know it, this is a suffering way. If Christ suffered, he said in the word, if you suffer with me, you will reign with me. It said the righteous suffer and the wicked seem to prosper. Amen. Praise God. It looked like the, the wicked just prospered and you just struggling. Amen. Praise God. Amen. But I got news for you. Hold on to God's unchanging hand because I tell you what, sin, sin will not go unpunished. Amen. Praise God. There are consequences to the things of what you do. There are consequences. Amen. Praise God. And people living their lives as though there are no consequences. Amen. Praise God. Amen. We all have to stand before the judgment seat of God. So it said, this raises the question, who is the Lord? And I was talking about on Monday when Pharaoh said, who is the Lord that I shall obey his voice? Amen. Who is the Lord? And Revelation said, Jesus is Lord in spite of how things appear. Amen. Praise God. There's so much chaos. Amen. So, 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 so much chaos in in society, in the world today, and one make one make, make people wonder. Sometimes is God is in control, but God is yet in control. That's just an indication that we're living in the last day. We're living in the last day. Amen. One thing about Jesus. Jesus, amen, praise God, amen, does not have cataracts, amen, Jesus does not have glaucoma, amen, Jesus don't wear bifocals or trifocals, Jesus sees everything, oh, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, he sees everything, there's nothing go unnoticed, amen, God sees everything, for how the scriptures say he, he neither slumber nor sleep, that's what the scripture said, Amen. Praise God. Why are you sleeping? He's awake. Amen. 24 7. Amen. Watching. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Just seeing everything that's going on. And, 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 and he is returning soon to establish his kingdom. Those facing persecution. Those face, facing persecution. Amen. Find hope through a renewed uh, perspective. And those who are compromising are warned to repent. Amen. It talks about the 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 the, uh, the, the, the apocalypse. Amen. Praise God. That's what I'm getting to. Amen. The first four seals, the first four seal judgments, commonly known as the four horsemen. Amen. Of the apocalypse. 
Amen. I remember when I was young and I used to watch wrestling. Amen. I believe Ric Flair and, 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 and Art Anderson, and they called themselves the Four Horsemen. Amen. I used to watch wrestling back in the day. But we're talking about the Four Horsemen. And if you look in Zechariah, amen, praise God, I think it talks about the Four Chariots. Amen. They also talk about four horses as well. Amen. Praise God. But let's say the four horsemen of the apocalypse. It say includes military conquest. Amen. Violent bloodshed. Amen. Hunger. We see that going on and death. It say these judgments have operated throughout history as a result of human sinfulness. Sinfulness. But when I look in the book of John 5 and 22, it says, For the Father judges no man. For the Father judges no man, but has committed all judgment unto the Son, which is Jesus Christ. Which is Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord for Jesus. Amen. So when we look at the, the white horse, it says, The four horsemen come forth as... The first four seals are broken. Amen. Remind you that the only one that was able to do break the seals, or open the seals, was the Lamb, the, the worthy Lamb of God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. They, but the, the seals was broken. Amen. Praise God. Representing God's judgment on the corrupt and evil world system and the ungodly. And the ungodly, those who are living ungodly. The Bible says all unrighteous, all unrighteousness, all unrighteousness is sin. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Oh, bless the Lord. Amen. If you need to be saved, it's time to get saved now. It ain't time to be shucking and jiving. It ain't time to be playing around. Amen. It ain't trying to be time to be playing high and go seat. Amen. It's time to give your life to Jesus. Amen. Give your life to Jesus. And it said the rider of the white horse, amen, is thought by many uh, Bible uh, interpreters or Bible scholars to be the Antichrist. What you talking about, preacher? Well, when you look at 1 John, 1 John 2 and 18, it says, pray God, uh, little children, little children, it is the last time. We're living in the last time. And as ye have heard that Antichrist shall come even now or there are many antichrists there are many antichrists whereby we know that it is the last time amen that we know it is the last time amen we're living in the last day praise the name of the lord amen praise god in the future uh future world ruler who is to begin his activity at the beginning of the last seven years. Amen. Praise God. And so it, it, it should behoove us. Amen. Praise God. Because I believe in uh, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 3. It says, for when they shall say peace and safety, everything is fine. Everything is fine. Amen. And, you know, it's going to get better. The devil is a lie. Amen. Praise God. It's going to get worse, church, because we're living in the last day. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Uh, amen. The, the peace and safety. Then sudden destruction coming upon them as travail upon a woman with child. Amen. Praise God. As travail, as pain upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. That's what the word of the Lord says. Amen. That's what the word of the Lord says. Amen. Praise God. So in other words, God, amen, God, uh, 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 God is allowed by, uh, he is, he is the Antichrist. Talking about the Antichrist. He is allowed by God. Huh? Amen. He is allowed by God to deceive all those who will oppose Christ. Amen. Many people are being deceived today. Folks don't want to repent of their sins. Amen. Praise God. They want to keep on doing what they're doing. And, and what bothers me, praise God, when uh, there have been so many funerals, amen, because of the, the pandemic, not only that, but other, but every time you go to a funeral, everybody that they, that they eulogize, everybody going to heaven. 
I don't care how they live. Amen. Pray about everybody going to heaven. They even have programs with the wings on them like they flying on up. And Amen. But, but you live any kind of way. Pray about none but the righteous shall see God. Amen. You can't live any kind of way. Amen. Praise God. Amen. You can't you can't live an elephant and die a monkey. Come on, talk to me, somebody. You got to live holy. You got to live righteous. Amen. God has a standard for us to live by. He said, be ye holy. Praise God. Be ye holy for I am holy. So we got to live a righteous life. Amen. They ain't talking about it. Praise God. Amen. Everybody say, Lord, Lord, ain't going to go in into the kingdom of heaven. But Jesus said, he that doeth the will of my father. Are you doing God's will? That, that, that's, that's, that's the thing. Now, are you doing God's will? Amen. Praise God. His, his initial conquest will be accomplished without open warfare. For peace is taken from the earth, beginning with the second horseman. Amen. Praise God. So I'm going to say each of the four horses is a different color. We got the white. We have the red, we have the black, and we have the pale. Each of the four horses is, has a different color. Some assume the white horse represents victory, and its rider is Christ, because Christ later rides to victory on a white horse. When you look at, I believe, uh, I think it's Revelations 19 and 11. 19 and 11, if you look at Revelation 19 and 11, it's saying, I saw heaven open and behold a white horse, amen, a white horse, amen, and he that sat upon him was called faithful. It didn't say unfaithful. He, he was called faithful, amen, and true, amen, praise God. God is faithful, Amen. Pray God. Are you faithful to God? And are you true to God? It didn't say unfaithful and untrue, but it say faithful, called faithful and true. And in righteousness, he doeth what? Judge and make war. Uh-huh. But since the other three horses relate to judgment and destruction, uh-huh. Some theologians, amen, some theologians said the rider on a white horse would not be Christ. Amen. It talks about the Antichrist and the four are part of the unfolding judgment of God. And it would, and it would, uh-huh, be premature for Christ to ride forth as the conqueror. Oh, bless the Lord. Now, that let me know the Antichrist because ever since... Amen. He's been trying to emulate. Amen. Amen. Pray God. Amen. Trying to emulate Christ. Amen. When you look at Isaiah, amen, I believe Isaiah 14 and 12, it says, thou art, thou, thou art, thou fallen, uh, how, excuse me, how art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, O Lucifer, amen, Lucifer, this ain't Lucius, <laughs> it said Lucifer. Son of the morning, how art thou cut down to the ground, which did it do it, uh, did it weaken uh -huh, the nations? The 13th verse said, For thou hast said in thy heart, for he has, see, some people lift themselves up, that you know, lift themselves up, and, and we're talking about Satan right here. For thou hast said in thy heart, in his heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will send into heaven. I will exalt my throne. Uh huh. He, he, I mean, he trying to push his own agenda. He says, "What? Well, I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mountain of the congregation, or in the sides of the north." Amen. Praise God. Amen. So he's talking about the Antichrist. Amen. The Antichrist. Amen. Praise God. Amen. That's what we were talking about earlier. Amen. About the Antichrist. And I'm going to read this and I'll get back to the white horse, but to the red horse, to the next horse. But then in 2 Thessalonians 2 and 3, it says, let no man deceive you by any means. Amen. Don't let nobody deceive you. I believe in Matthew, he said, if, if it was possible, amen, but what's going if, if it were possible, the very elect would be deceived. Amen. Pray God, let no man deceive you. That's what the scripture said. 
Let no man deceive you. Many folks are being deceived. Huh? Many folks are being deceived. Matthew 24 and 4 said, And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Don't let nobody fool you. Don't let the devil fool you. Don't let him change your mind. Amen. Don't let the devil fool you. For many shall come in my name. This is what Jesus said. Many shall come in my name. You got a whole lot of false prophets, false preachers, false teachers. Many shall come in my name. Amen. Saying I am Christ and shall deceive many. Amen. They got a call on. They can scream and holler. Act like they got the anointing, been around the church long enough to put on the act, amen, the show, go through the go through the theatrics, amen, a whole lot of shaking going on, <laughs> amen, a whole lot of shaking going on, praise God, and folks are being deceived, amen, and sometimes they ain't living no better than you, still living raggedy, but they got the collar around their neck, amen, they packing their Bible up under their arm, they got their satchel, praise God, saying they did say that, and they shall deceive many. That's why, it, that's why it's imperative. That's why it's so important. The importance of studying the word of God for yourself. Amen. And if you don't understand, seek God's wisdom. Pray fast and ask God to open up your understanding about his word. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. That's what we hear. Amen. They talk about how China had these missiles now and, and North Korea. Amen. Praise God. Amen. All these little places, all these places. Amen. Praise God. Russia. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. Huh? That's what he telling us. That, that, that's just a sign of the coming. The sign of the coming. For all these things must come to pass. Jesus said, all these things must come to pass, uh-huh, uh, but, but the end is not yet. Ain't that what he said? This is what this Jesus talking when you got Matthew 24 and, 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 and 6. But when you look at it, it says, 7 said, but nations shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. Amen. And, and, and even in America today, people are, are fighting against one another, fighting against one another. I know since the pandemic, everything been going on. Praise God. They're fighting about. Praise God. Amen. Those. Amen. Look. Uh, look. Look crazy or look uh, uh, upside your head if you got a mask on. Those who got a mask on, look upside of those who don't wear no mask. They look up on folks who have been vaccinated. Those who haven't been vaccinated. There is a war going on. Amen. There is a, amen, civil war going on right here in America fighting racism, amen, sexism, a whole lot of things going on, praise God, ain't right here in America. And America have strayed totally away from God, amen, not loving one another, amen, kingdom against kingdom. And that shall be what? Fame of hunger. That's what they're talking about, hunger and pestilence, amen, and earthquakes. Amen. In diverse places. Amen. People are hungry. Amen. Praise God. People are going without. Amen. So much homelessness. Amen. Praise God. Homelessness. Amen. Praise God. People, amen. Homeless. Amen. Amen. Sickness and disease. Amen. Poverty. Praise God. Earthquakes in diverse places. Amen. All these are the beginning of sorrow. Amen. Folks ain't paying attention to the sign of the time. They're not paying attention. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you. And ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. We got a situation going on in Haiti right now. That some of missionary workers have been, amen, have been uh, uh, kidnapped. Amen. And they have a ransom. I believe it's 17 of them. And they want a, a million dollars per head. Amen. Praise God. And if they do not act upon that, they talking about killing them. Amen. Praise God. They doing mission work. They're working for God. They doing mission work. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. You might not be kidnapped. You might not be uh, held at gunpoint. Praise God. But if you living for God, sometimes people will try to kill your character. 
Amen. Praise God. We're trying to kill your reputation. Amen. Destroy your reputation. Amen. Praise God. Amen. I'm talking about so, folks who really live in holy. I ain't talking about somebody living raggedy. Amen. Praise God. Slew footed. Amen. And want to know why folks don't want to fellowship with you. And why they what? Well, quit doing your foolishness. Quit doing your dirt. Quit doing your, your wickedness. Amen. Live holy. Live right like God called you to. Amen. He called us to holiness. Amen. I'm not talking about a denomination, but I'm talking about a way of life. Amen. Praise God. A, a, a holy Holiness is a standard which we live by. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Kill and, and shall be hated. Hate of all nations for my name's sake. Then shall many be offended and shall betray one another. Shall betray one another. There is a warfare going on in the church. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Those who've been vaccinated, praise God. Amen. The ones who have it, well, you showing a lack of faith. <laughs> you showing a lack of faith. Amen. Fight it against. And that what Satan enjoy. Satan enjoy seeing the body of Christ at one another. Amen. Just like enemies, amen, outside of America like to see, amen, Americans fighting against one another. Amen. Praise God. And when we look, when we fight against one another, we don't have strength to fight against the enemy. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Praise God. And then shall men be offended and shall betray one another and, and, and shall hate one another. But it says right here, and many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. Amen. Many folks are being deceived by, amen, by false prophets being deceived. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many, the love of many shall wax cold. That means folks are cold toward each other, cold toward each other. And so when we get to the red horse, it says the third verse of the sixth chapter. It said, when he had opened the second seal, I heard the second beast say, come and see, <laughs> come and see. And there went out another horse that was red and power was given to him that set their own to take peace from the earth and that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. So what you talking about the red horse and it rattled represents war and violence and violent death. That's what we see. Praise God. Oh, Amen. Just violence. Amen. Uh, senseless killing. Senseless killings. Amen. People going by their daily lives and you got the devil is on the prowl. Amen. The devil is seeking after whom he may devour. And so we see senseless killing. That's why, amen, young ladies, young men, young ladies, you better be careful who you go out with and who you hang around with, amen. You don't know what's on that young man's mind. You don't know what type of devilment on his mind. You don't know what type of harm he might try to bring your way. Praise God. Senseless killings, amen. Senseless killings, amen. I, I, I tell you, Praise God. Amen. I know. Amen. A year ago, and we were talking about, they say, still talk about Black Lives Matter, but it gets me when I hear Black Lives Matter. I know people might not uh, agree with this, but praise God, but we holler Black Lives Matter, but I tell you what, it, 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 it seems like it really don't matter when you have the, the, the black community killing one another. Amen. Killing one another. Just senseless killing. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Drive-by shootings. Just senseless killing because you don't like me and I don't like who you hang with. A bunch of foolishness. That's why it pays for us to be on the Lord's side. It pays for us to be on the Lord's side, which God will allow in bringing his wrath upon the earth. We talking about the red horse. The tribulation will be a time of violence, murder, and war. Amen. Violence, murder, and war. Just got through talking about Haiti not too long ago. They killed their president. He was assassinated and the wife was wounded. And you have people trying to flee from that country to come to the United States. Amen. Amen. You have people over in Colombia. You have people in Mexico trying to get to the United States to run away from poverty, to run away from the violence. Amen. 
praise God, that is perpetrated upon them. And we see by, we're living in that time today. Praise the name of the Lord. We're living in that time today. Amen. Praise God. Amen. It's perilous times. But the black horse said in the fifth verse, said, and when he had opened the third seal, I heard the third beast say, come and see. Amen. Just come and see. And I beheld and lo, a black, a black horse. And he that sat on him had a pair of balance in his hand. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say, a measure of wheat for a penny and three measures of barley for a penny. And see thou harm, not the oil and the wine. What you talking about? Well, you know what? There's so much uh, 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 hunger, hunger in the land. Amen. Pray God. We're still talking about the judgment. And as you all know, as you go to the store now, some shelves are bare. Amen. I believe ever since the pandemic hit, maybe before, they had a limit on how much meat you can get. Amen. You, you, amen. When it first hit, you couldn't hardly get find no Clorox wipes. You couldn't hardly find paper towels. You couldn't hardly find this. But now, there, 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 there's a shortage of food that's on the shelf. And not only that, praise God, for just the basic necessities of life, the base, the basic, basic necessities of life will be scarce. And we see that now. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Pray God. It's best that you cook at the house because if you go out to a restaurant, you paying double the cost or probably the triple the cost. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Food prices have gone up. Amen. Prices extremely high. Amen. Praise God. Prices extremely high. Gas prices. Is up. Amen. You just can't hardly joy ride no more. Just can't be riding around just amen. Just 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 joy ride, low ride, because gas prices are going up, y'all. Amen. Praise God. That, and, and it talks about amen. Hunger will spread throughout the world. Hunger will spread throughout the world. Amen. Praise God. Where is the love? Amen. Where is the love? Amen. I, I know uh, we were traveling to to, 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 I believe, Houston, not Houston, I think it was Kingwood or somewhere, amen, and, 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 and I have a heart for when people are on the side of the road saying they're hungry and stuff, never did see the, uh, 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 the man, he had a sign and just seen him have a sign, and, and, and we decided to stop and, and, and give him some chicken, give him some chicken. And I, I say this because we can talk the word of God all day long, but do we put it in practice? We have to practice what we have learned and we have practice. It's a, you know, practice what you, you know, <laughs> practice what you preach. Amen. Practice what you teach. Amen. Praise God. And, and so I saw a man that was hungry and, and, and when he turned around, <laughs> on, he had a mask on, but he had Trump on his mask. And, and, and I had to look beyond the Trump mask and look at a man that was hungry. Amen. Praise God. Because Jesus said, when I was hungry, did you feed me? When I was naked, did you clothe me? So what I'm saying is, amen, amen, praise God. It does us no good to hear the word and does not apply the word. After we have heard the word of God, we have to be doers of the word of God. Amen. Praise God. And I tell you what, hunger does not have no color. Hunger does not discriminate. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Praise God. You don't know how I feel unless you've been there. Amen. Praise God. And I tell you what, amen. Praise God. He looked at me, but he was telling me, thank you, thank you. And I like, Lord, I just thank you for the opportunity. Amen. Praise God. Amen. It's more than just preaching and teaching the word, but you got to minister to the needs of people. You have to minister to the needs of people, regardless of this, what done happened to society today. I'm not going to fool with you unless you're a Republican. I'm not going to fool with you unless you're a Democrat. Praise God. Amen. The Bible says, for the love of many. 
for the love of many have waxed cold. Amen. People get violent. Amen. People have gotten violent, praise God. Amen. Into in society today. Praise God. They will knock you off. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So when we look at that, the, the black horse, amen, and what the black horse represent, praise God, amen, the price is, is high. Oh, bless the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Go places today. Amen. They tell me, you know, oh, bless the Lord. Almost you that one world system. Amen. You got to have a debit card or whatever because they ain't hardly taking coins or cash. Amen. I say, Lord, have mercy. You can have cash, and they don't want the cash. Amen. Praise God. You got to have your debit card. Amen. Praise God. With the chip on it and all these type of things. Amen. To be able to uh, get some things that you need. But when we get to the, the, the pale horse, the pale horse, the seventh verse of Revelation 6, uh, the sixth chapter, it said, When he had opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth beast say, Come and see. And I looked, and behold, a pale horse, and his name that sat on him was death, and hell followed with him. And power was given unto them over the fourth fourth part of the earth to kill with the sword with hunger and with death and with the beast of the earth death now when we look at the scripture the bible says death the, the last enemy the last enemy that shall be destroyed is death and i believe in further in revelation it say uh, death and hell is going to have their part in the lake of fire. Yeah, I believe that's what the scripture tells us. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Death and hell ain't going to be able to escape either. Amen. Praise God. They're going to have their part in the lake of fire. Am I right about it? Amen. Praise God. Amen. Revelation. I'm going to get back to the pale horse. Revelation 20. Revelation 20. Amen. Says in 13. It says, and the sea gave up the, the dead which were in it, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. And they were judged, every man according to their works. And then the 14th verse of the 20th chapter of Revelation said, and death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. Death and hell was cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. If you wasn't written in the book of life, you're going to be cast into the lake of fire. But the pale horse, the last horse we did with the four horsemen, the pale horse and its rider named Death symbolize a terrible, uh, uh, intense, intensification, amen, of war hunger, death, and plagues, disease, amen, and evil beasts. This judgment will be such uh, terrible that one-fourth of the human race will be killed in my lifetime. And I see this pandemic, amen, and y'all be cautious, be cautious, be careful. But it has taken so many lives. So many lives. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Those who have uh, pre-existent conditions. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. A whole lot of things have been exposed by the coronavirus. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. A whole lot of people have died behind this pandemic. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Amen. It ain't nothing but the judgments of God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Started off with the coronavirus. Amen. COVID-19. Then they had a Delta variant. Praise the name of the Lord. Then they say it might be another mutation. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Praise God. We just have to be ready because the Lord is letting us know he's coming back. 
He's coming back. And I tell you what, amen, when I was talking about, amen, praise God, in verse 6, about the black horse, praise the name of the Lord, amen, praise God, you can uh, 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 go to the store and spend $100, don't seem, <laughs> and come out there probably about five or six items, and you don't spend $100, amen, praise the name of the Lord, because prices are going up, praise God, amen, as far as, amen, praise God, amen, the items that you need, amen, food, amen. Amen. Praise God. Even shelter. Praise the name of the Lord. Like I said, even uh, with our automobiles. Praise the name of the Lord. Gas. Amen. Praise God. He speaks of these things. Amen. He speaks of these things, y'all. But we have to be prepared. And we have to stay prepared. Amen. Don't let this stuff shake us because we are in the hands of God. Those who trust the Lord. Amen. Stay on the Lord's side. Praise God. He is our covering. He is our refuge. He is our safety. Praise God. We have to trust God. If it ever, if it ever been a time, have never ever been a time, we need to trust God's word. Amen. Praise God. The Bible says that it, uh, to trust in the Lord. It's better to trust in the Lord than to what? Put confidence in man. Praise God. Amen. It's better to trust in the Lord. God is trustworthy. God is trustworthy, church. He's trustworthy. I trust God. I trust God. Amen. I trust God. Amen. Second Thessalonians, I'm coming to a close. Amen. Second Thessalonians, like I was saying, uh, two and three, let no man deceive you by any means. For that day shall not come except there come a falling away first. A falling away. And that man of sin be revealed. The son of perdition, who opposeth and exalted himself. We had read, I think, in Isaiah, uh, the 14th chapter, the 13th verse, amen, about, amen, him exalting himself above all that is called God, or that is worship, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is, that he is. That he is God. Oh, bless the Lord. Don't let the devil deceive you. Don't let the devil deceive you. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Also, he told him, remember ye not that when I was yet with you. Amen. This is what Paul taught. When I was with you, I told you these things. And now ye know what would hold it that he might be revealed in his time. But he's being revealed now. Amen. For the mystery of iniquity doeth already work. It's working now. Only he who now let it will let until he be taken out of the way. And then shall the wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming it's after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. He's just a lying wonder. <laughs> a lying wonder. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. They didn't receive. They didn't receive, they didn't receive the love of the truth. Who is the truth? Jesus is the truth. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. That's the only way we're going to be able to make it, with Jesus Christ on our side. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. For this cause, for this cause, God shall send them strong delusions. Some folks are delusional. Amen. Some folks are delusional. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. They that they should believe a lie. We live in a day. Oh, oh we, we know now I'm talking about the big lies, about the, the election and all this type of stuff. The big lie. Amen. Praise God. Somebody say the former president. But the Bible tells me, praise God. Amen. I believe when you look at John. Amen. Praise God. Amen. John the eighth chapter. John the eighth chapter, the forty-fourth verse. Amen. Praise God. It said, and, and ye, it said, what well, ye are 
of your father the devil. Amen. Amen. That's all. He, he's known for lying the devil. Ye are your father the devil. Ye are of your father the devil. And the lusts of your father ye will do. Mm-hmm. Amen. When you have the characteristics of your father, amen, amen, praise God, you're going to do what your father do. Amen. When we say we're a Christian, that means we have the characteristics of Christ. But if you're of the devil, I mean, if, you, if, you, if you're of the devil, you're going to have the characteristics of what he does. Amen. Praise God. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him. There is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. And that's a sad thing because we have angelicals, amen, following behind a person that is telling lies. Amen. Praise God. Amen. That is telling lies. Amen. Praise God. He, ha he has become an idol god. Amen. People that worship idol gods. Amen. Uh, in idolatry. Amen. Praise God. Amen. But you better stick with Jesus. You better stick with Jesus. And Jesus said, because I tell you the truth. Because I tell you the truth. Do you believe me not? Huh? Amen. Some people turn to death ear when you preach and teach the word of God because they don't want to hear the truth. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. They don't want to hear the truth. And I remember, I remember. Amen. I'm going to close. I remember uh, when in uh, 2009, 2009, amen, I had to go. I was in the hospital, had pneumonia, amen, blood clots, uh, both of my legs, close to my lung, amen, had a whole lot of health issues going on, amen, praise God, weighed over 450, close to 500 pounds. Now, somebody came up there and told me, ooh, Pastor Hillary, you just as skinny, am I? <laughs> You skinny, <laughs> oh am I? <laughs> and you 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 show a little slim. <laughs> that slim fast done done, am I? And I'm four hundred close to five hundred pounds. And uh, well, I can't believe that lie, cause I see myself and I know what I look like. Praise the name of the Lord. But some people or uh, know a person is lying to them, and they believe a lie. But God is the truth. He said, "Let every man be a lie, but let God be the truth." Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Folks are being deceived. Folks being deceived, thinking they can live any kind of way and go to heaven. Praise God. You can't do that. You can't do that. No, no, you can't do that. Uh-huh. Uh, 2 Thessalonians uh, uh, three, uh, 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 2 and 12 said that they all might be damned who believe not the truth. Amen. It's going to be down because, you know, <laughs> amen, praise God, amen. Some people want to cuss. Amen. That's what the Bible says, 2 Thessalonians 2 and 12, that they all might be down. Y'all be saying down. You're going to be down. Who believe not the truth. That's what the scripture said. You're going to be down if you don't believe the truth. Amen. Praise God, believe the truth. But have pleasure in unrighteousness. People have been pleasure in unrighteousness. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Saints of God, be encouraged. Be encouraged. Stay with Jesus. Praise God. Amen. I'm encouraged. Amen. To stay with Jesus. Amen. Praise God. I always say it all the time. Amen. The song, I need thee, oh, I need thee. Yeah, real, I need thee, oh, bless me now, my Savior, I to thee. 
Praise God. Amen. 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 I don't know about you, but amen. We need the Lord. We need the Lord. Amen. In times like these, amen, we need the Lord Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Amen. We thank God for you. Amen. We have tuned in. Amen. For the real gospel. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Show. Amen. I ask that you would, uh, amen, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Amen. The real gospel. Amen. With your host, Pastor Henderson. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. The real time gospel. And we just love the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And amen. We came in. Amen. But I don't care what the devil don't like. And I want to encourage you. Amen. I want to encourage everybody. Amen. You know, amen. Praise God. You know, sometimes we have encouragers in our life. Amen. I know I've had many people uh, in my life who have encouraged me. Amen. And uh, they're no longer here. Amen. Praise God. But I lean on the everlasting arms of God. Amen. Praise God. I remember David in the scripture. The Bible said David had to encourage himself. Amen. You got to keep on keeping on. Praise God. Amen. Because, amen. Praise God. Amen. Because God is a good God. Amen. And God will wipe the tears from our eyes, y'all. Amen. The scripture said, weeping may endure for a night. Amen. But joy comes in the morning. Amen. And the joy of the Lord is our strength. Amen. I want to encourage you. Praise God. I want to encourage you to hold on to God's unchanging hand. Praise God. Amen. And don't let, amen. Praise God. Don't care what the devil don't like. Amen. Praise God. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Give God the glory. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. That sounds pretty good to me. Praise the Lord. 
support those who tune in we thank god for you tuning tuning in praise god we just want to encourage you to amen to stay with the lord amen and, uh, always study your bible amen fast and pray talk to the lord amen and god will see you through i tell you god will see us through amen because we're living in turbulence time but god will see us through amen so we have to trust god god bless you God keep you. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. To the Lord's will, like I said, we'll see you on Monday. Amen. We pray that you have a, a blessed remaining evening or tonight. Amen. You have a blessed uh, uh, weekend. Praise God. If it's in the Lord's will. Amen. Be safe. Be careful. And we love you. Can you keep us in your prayers that we will continue to pray for you. God bless you. Amen. And God keep you. And have a good night. <laughs>